economics is our subject. Welcome to our class, online school. This is a mobile class where we teach you various subjects. Today, I'm taking you economics. I remember that in our previous economics class, we were discussing basic economic tools. That is still the topic we'll see under. Today, we're going to see how we can use tables and graphs to analyze economic problems. Basic economic tools. These are the tools we'll talk about today. Tables and graphs. Now let's take the first one, tables. What are tables? It's a systematic and orderly arrangement of information, facts, or data using rows and columns for presentation. Tables are economic tools used in the systematic arrangement of information using rows and columns. I want to use the uh, illustration and the board to show you that. And we see use illustration to talk about the features of a table or the characteristics of a table. In this, you see this is a table. These are rows and these are the columns. So these are the rows that are used. These are the columns that are used. Horizontal vertical and these that tables are used to present economic problems analyze economic problems interpret economic issues let's use this as an example how do we use table to interpret economic problems this is a table of the number of cars or number of vehicles purchased in a country over a period of time let's say for five years number let me use number of years here number stroke years and we'll see the price at which they buy them and the quantity the number of vehicles that are purchased after analyzing this topic uh, this table then we'll use it to talk about the characteristics there's a number of vehicle purchase the number one thousands that when the vehicle was purchased at 5,000, 5, uh, 50,000, 800 persons purchased this vehicle. Let's take for example Toyota cars. It was sold at 50,000, 800 persons purchased it. When it was sold for 200,000, 500 persons purchased it. When it was sold at 450,000, 300 persons purchased it. When it was sold at 800,000, 120 persons purchase it. If I give you this table to analyze, what will you see? You see that the more the price increase, the less are the individuals the mind for this product. That's just what this table is telling us. So if you have to analyze this table as an economist, what this table is presented before you and you are asked, at what price are people buying were people buying these cars more? You will tell them that it is when the car was at 50,000 at its lowest price, 800 percent purchase it. And so the lower the price, the higher the demand. You have explained this chart, this table. That is why we say table gives us clear presentation, clear representation of data, and it will help us to analyze very easily. Easy to analyze this table. So that is what tables are. What are the features of a table in uh, analyzing economic tools. One, if a table must have a title, if you look, this is my table 1.1. This is the title: number numbers of vehicles in a country, demanded in a country. That's the title: the number of vehicles demanded in a country. So it must have a title. A table must have a title. A table must be numbered. If you see, in my row, I have one, two, three, four. So remember, it must have a title. Remember, it must be numbered. Then remember, it must be it must have rows and column. Then remember too that if the table must tell us the quantity demanded and at what price it was demanded. You saw the price. You saw the quantity. That 
gives us a clear picture of what we want to analyze. So this is a pictorial example of how we can use a table for analysis. The higher the price, the lower the demand. The lower the price, the higher the demand. People who demanded at 800,000 were more because the vehicle was sold at 50,000 naira. When it becomes 800,000, just 120 persons bought it. If you are the uh, company economist, you'll be able to analyze this. Now let's see how we can use graph in our economy. Now the next one we're going to take is the graph. What is the graph? They are diagram showing a functional relationship between two variables. A functional relationship between two variables, x and y. The variables can be x and y, the variables can be years and products. And in plotting your graph, your graph must definitely have two axes, the y, the x axis, and the y axis. That's to say, it's going to explain two, coefic explain two coefficients, two functionality, two variables. You are going to compare from x to y, from x to y, or from y to x. So you are describing two variables are going, we are going to describe. So always remember that when you hear of the word graph, remember that it is a, a basic economic tools that it's used in a diagram form to explain two variables, the functionality of two variables. I have an example here, young production in Delta states from 1990 to 2000. We're going to plot the graph for these 10 years. How is the graph going to look like? How are we going to compare two coefficients? And what are the features of a graph? Let us see how we're going to plot this graph. I'm going to use two centimeter, uh, two units, two centimeter to um, two units. Depending on what your scale you want to use, you can use five centimeter to five units. You can use two. You can use two units. You can use five units. Depending on the unit you choose in your graph. And depending on what you want to plot. So we are using 2 cm in our plotting of this graph. So let's go to the graph plotting now. I'll explain what a graph is. It's a diagram used to compare two variables. We're going to use this example to show how we can plot a graph. First, our graph will be titled Production, production of yam in Delta State states from 1990 to 2000. This is the title of our graph. Now let us plot the graph. Remember I told you a graph must have two axes the x and the y axis. Our graph must have two axes, the x and the y axis. Now, this will be our y x axis and this will be our y axis. This will be yam production in years. This will be yam production. This will be the quantity produced produced in years. So this will be the quantity produced. And these are our macro folders. We are going to use 2CM, an imaginary graph we are going to plot. Depending on which CM you want to use with your graph, if you are using a graph. But I am using 2CM to 1 unit in this graph. So I will start with my 2, my 4, my 6, my 8, my 10, my 12, my 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And then our graph will just go up. We'll manage what we have. We we'll have here 1990, 91, 92, 93. 
2000. Now from my graph, when it was 1990, I'm going to trace. The pro number produced is 8. And I'll trace this down here. At 1991, the number produced was 10. I'll trace it down here. 1992, 12. 1993, we'll have 14. 94, 16. 95, 18, 96, 20, 97, 98, it's here. Same, it will go to 99. But let's stop here. If I'm drawing my graph, this is my point of origin and my graph stands here. So I try to trace it straight. And if we have it, it's going to go straight. We we'll have plotted a graph for this and we we'll have brought the two relationships. The yarn produced by the year, the production number, and the year. It have, we we'll have compared these two coefficients. We have plotted our linear graph. And the graph went up this way. And so, if you are a... It's a, a, an economist, and you are going to compare this graph with the year of production. If you are asked, you find out that the year 2000, the production rate increases. It may be because of advanced technology. It may be because of so many factors. And as a, an economist, you want to compare why was 2000 production more than other, uh, more than other years. And this gives you a clear picture of what these two coefficients or what these two variables uh, represent and you can analyze. So we have discussed the table and the graph in our basic economic tools. In our next class, we're going to talk about pie charts, bar charts, histogram. And thereafter, we'll talk about the statistical calculation, mean, median, and more standard deviation and the rest of them. So please go over this video again and see what you can gain from it. Check past questions and see how you can be able to plot this kind of graph in your uh, tables and see how you can use these examples to answer past questions. It was nice having you on Class Online School. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Share. Let's get to 2K subscribers as fast as possible. I'm happy to be with you here. Drop by in our website classonlineschool.com and look at courses or subjects you are unable to get on this channel. They are just for a token. Thank you for dropping by. Ask question if you have any below the comment box. We'll give you feedback if you ask. Thank you for being our students. Thank you for being our community. Share to those who will benefit from this class. Until I come your way next time. Thank you.